Speaking of reunions, uh, someone from West Philadelphia, where he was born and raised, had a reunion. Oh, I don't God. know where the fuck, where, where was this? Uh, the uh, venue where they were going to fight in Dubai? Or I think what? Karen Parsons had some kind of... Uh, Hillary. Yeah, no, I think she, she had a, kind of charity event. a charity event. I just don't know where it was exactly. Oh, okay. Maybe it was in L.A. I it had no to idea. be L.A. Um, but it looks like they're on a yacht somewhere in the south of France. I don't know whether it just looks fancy. Anyway, so they had like a little uh, Fresh Prince reunion. Will Smith was there. Tatiana Ali, um, Alfonso, even Jeffrey, who I haven't seen in such a while. And then some light skinned lady in a hat. Mm-hmm. Um, Auntie somebody. Yeah, she... I don't recall exactly. I don't really remember what she did. Mm. But, you know, that's something that happened. Of course, RIP to Uncle Phil, which that just reopened that wound. Yeah, it really did. Because, my God. Like, if he were in the picture, it would have just been, like... It would have been It would have just been missing one person. Right. Um, But anyway... Oh, that's wow. something that happened and was on, you know, the grams and places. Everybody forgot about baby Nikki, including me till just now. I mean, uh, d- he d- might as well go somewhere with light skin named Viv. If that's the point, then let's just that's bring back. Child. Let's just have Tyra be on the show. Let's call Nia Long and let's just get it. <laughs> I would Jazzy rather see Tyra and, Tyra and Nia Long and Jesse Jeff in that picture than light skin named Viv. And little Nikki, especially Jazz. Now he deserves. Yeah, Jazz. He does. Jazz is in the beginning, right? The whole show. He was getting thrown out by Uncle Phil from... every for like three whole seasons. I mean, every Jazzy episode. Jeff and you know, Fresh Prince. Right. Like they, it was literally. It was a thing. DJ Jazzy Jeff from right. Fresh Prince. So, like, maybe he couldn't go. Right. Maybe he just didn't want. He to. might not be local. Maybe he's on the black just side. Um. But either way. Not to be, uh, you know, she just basically had to fulfill your desires and expectations. Um, by she, I mean Janet Hubert. Right. Uh, the original dark-skinned and only Aunt Viv. Uh, by coming through with a comment on the Fresh Prince reunion. Here's what she said on her Facebook, which her Facebook her Facebook name is Black Dress Janet mm-hmm. Hubert. Yes. The black dress. And I love it. Can't think of anything else you have to do. It doesn't even matter. I know the media hoe, Alfonso (laughs) Ribeiro. (laughs) It's funny every time I see it. (laughs) I know the media hoe, Alfonso Ribeiro, has posted his so-called reunion photo. Folks keep telling me about it. He was always the ass wipe for Will. There will never be a true reunion of the Fresh Prince. I have no interest in seeing any of these people on that kind of level. I'm not offended in the least by this photo. It was an event for Karen's charity. It does, however, prompt me to take some meetings in Hollywood to pitch my memoir, Perfection is Not a Sitcom Mom. Oh, Lord. Wow. (laughs) And tell of the the behind-the-scenes story before I leave this earth. That is your mission in life. You know, it's a weird place to be in as a fan. It is. Because on one hand, I feel like, yes, it's not the same if it's not her. She, past the the, the colorism thing. Right. Janet's Aunt Viv was a completely different type of mom. Right. Like the lighter skinned Aunt Viv was almost, she was like a stay at home mom and she was just kind of in the house chilling and dealing with the kids' mess and shit. Janet's Viv was like a working mama. She didn't take no shit. She was teaching them, wasn't yeah. cutting, like she wasn't playing no kinds of games. She was getting her husband, all the kids together. Mm-hmm. She was respected. She was completely. She was a West Coast Claire Huxtable. Basically. Yes. But this the the new Aunt Viv just blended in with the cabinets. Basically. She that just, was it. she gave birth to baby Nikki and they just kinda sat around and she was there and it was just like we all just gonna pretend this is mama. The only line I ever remember her having on the entire show was a scene where I don't remember what the how there was a horse that was in the kitchen. Do you remember that episode? No. I don't remember what the circumstances was. And I own the entire series on DVD, but I haven't seen that episode in a minute. But for some reason or the next there was a horse in the house and <laughs> okay. the light skin aunt Viv, I think she ran into Phil in like the living room or the other room or something. She was like, I gotta um I uh, bye. And then she like <laughs> ran out because she didn't want to deal with it. That's the only thing I ever remember her saying on the whole show. Damn. So that's 
But I mean, I get it. I mean, like, that's fair. On the other hand, Janet has been talking shit like this for such a long time. Since like 93. At some point, you got to move on, auntie. Like, you just got to... You got to let it go. Like, why would... Yeah. Nobody would have expected you to be there, you know, because... You don't like them and they don't like you. And we so, all know that. And everyone knows it. So it would have been shocking to see her there. Mm-hmm. Nobody is surprised by this the same way nobody is surprised that you wrote a paragraph about how you hate them bitches. <laughs> and you're going to do your own thing. And call Carlton a media ho. And an ass wipe. <laughs> For Will. <laughs> My word. She really don't like Will. That is where she the resentment truly lies. Him. And the crazy thing is, if you think about it, everything that she's saying or the reasons that she has to not like him are probably true. Yeah. Because he was young and, and rich and probably cocky as fuck. Really self centered. You know what I'm saying? All that. Probably so. And so she probably has plenty of reasons to not like him. But, like, girl, now the nigga got. I mean, many, Will is like 50 years old, his sis. His three kids. <laughs> they half grown, too. Shit. In fact, ain't they all grown? What's Willow? 15, 16? Willow, at this, at this uh, she's probably got real estate. Like, right. I'm sure she does. So it's like, how long can you really hold on to this, sis? Go, mama. Now it's like your mission to tell the story behind the scenes before you die. I wonder if he's if Will has ever tried to reach out to her and be like, you know what? My bad for calling you Here's a, a bitch that day that or want? whatever <laughs> or something. Or if she's just like, I'm not trying to hear it. Yeah. Or if he's like, fuck her. I don't give a fuck. I never liked that bitch anyway. You know, I mean, there's at least two sides to every story. Probably every last person on that cast has a really good perspective on what happened. And we might never know the whole full truth. I just want this to not be the only thing that the black dress ever talks about. Right. Because that's where we are right now. Right. <laughs> like every time we see your name, it is because you got on Facebook Live and started talking shit. Because they <laughs> are in the sunset giving you ear to you know, ear. They are grins. grinning. Everybody looks happy. They've got a crisp autumn or, or springtime filter over this picture. Yeah. And everyone looks happy. And you talking about how you don't like none of them. I'm sure so, they are happy because that show is fully syndicated in some several different networks several so i'm sure everybody's networks. like you know the checks are still coming mm. 25 years later god is so good can you pass those greens can we get can i have another steak <laughs> thank <over> you here? <laughs> will <laughs> thanks because we're eating damn i don't know what else to say about i mean that. yeah it is it's a conflict because at, at the same time my childhood self remembers and loves and dark skin and viv the real and Viv, like, yes. fiercely. Yes. Strong. She was a great character. Truly loves her. <laughs> Remind, she reminds me when the Aineys would come in, Jennifer Lewis and all them, and they would have episodes with, like, the Aineys. <sighs> when, oh, God, when the one Aine married a white man. Oh, yes. my God. Like, that shit remind, literally reminded me of my own family watching that. So I have a big, like, I have a, I have a deep connection to her in that role. I just, I don't feel like there's any. That's never going to. Yeah. Nobody is going to change her mind. Right. She and the them. show was like markedly worse once she was off of it. Yeah. So like she has those things in her corner. It's just like, I wish you had done something notable since then as far as acting is concerned or like we we ever heard for you from you for like anything else. That's it. At least with uh Family Matters, Joe Marie Payton was up on that show until like the last season. Mm-hmm. Joe Marie Payton left the show at the right time and for the right reasons. Yes, she did. She was like, okay, this is stupid now. Urkel was doing too much. Like, absolutely. Androids and, and demon <laughs> puppets and two, three versions of him and teleportation, all kinds of shit. She was yeah. like, I'm going home. Like, right. I'm tired. This is dumb. The show was about family mattering, not right. our next door neighbor and how that nigga matters when he comes over and drinks our food. Or yeah. Drinks our food. That was the same reason John Amos left uh, Good Times, though. Because yeah. JJ was such a big ass coon. The character was yeah, written as like, like okay, a bigger that's and not bigger coon. what the show like, was about. Stop doing this. So he had to go die in Alabama. If you... <laughs> Damn. If you had to... If you watch Family Matters, like that first season of Family Matters, it was so fucking funny. But it was yeah. completely different. It was right. about the Winslows. And then slowly it was about... It became... It Urkel. was the Urkel show. Right. And it just... So, I mean, I didn't even watch that last season of Family Matters, so... You missed nothing. Like, it jumped I don't even the remember what the replacement wife looked like. She was, um... Oh, God. Let me tell you what she was on. Now I gotta Google her. She was on... I know exactly what she... Oh, you know what? She was Gina's mama on Martin. Oh! Oh, that lady. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, that one lady. She was Genius by Mom Martin. That's the only good thing mm. I think I can remember her being on. Um, okay, well, at least now I know her face. Uh, but she was the mom. She was Harriet on that last season. And a lot of people who watch Family Matters probably don't even remember that because it was the very last season and it was not good. I'm not watching it without the regular dark-skinned mama who has been on this show the what? whole fucking time. Y'all keep replacing them with and, these light-skinned women who don't do nothing but blend it to the background. And if you want to go deeper into that, Family Matters only existed because of Harriet, because it was a spinoff of another show, and I can't remember the name mm. of it right now, but Harriet was a character on another sitcom, and they spun it off and made Family Matters. So oh, that Perfect show Strangers yes, with Balky. That show only existed because of Harriet. You damn right. You are damn right. So Mama was like, you can have I this. remember Perfect Strangers. That's I crazy. only saw maybe a couple of bits and pieces yeah, of it. Yeah, because I think my daddy thought they was gay, and he was like, we're not watching that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I remember she like worked in an elevator or a or fix the elevator or something. She was shit. the elevator operator, yeah. Right. At the newspaper, which was her job on the show, too. Yes. Continuity. There you go. Family Matters had a whole child disappear upstairs and didn't come back, and really, people did not stop watching. We well, it's like, we didn't really need Judy. We didn't know any No shade, up. girl. Eddie and Laura was all it we was, really needed. And then they had Richie, too. It was like, oh, right. And Richie was adorable. You know, oh, God. Just yeah, leave. we just, we didn't need that, that middle child, that adolescent. They just had, they gave Laura Max, and then they were done. Yeah. They were like, and, okay. Oh, God, and Eddie had Cockroach. Wait, no, not Cockroach. Cockroach was, was the Cosby show. That was the Cosby show. What was Eddie's friend name? Uh, 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 Waldo. Waldo Faldo. Waldo Geraldo Faldo. Oh, man, quality television. Good times. <laughs> 